Hey, I just wanted to take a second um, to welcome you to Field Geology for this year. Uh, typically, at the beginning of each week, I try to put up a little video that's just kind of a um, update, try to clarify anything that I think might be confusing in the week's information, um, you know, address any concerns, stuff like that. Um, and so I typically try to have this up by Monday. Sometimes life happens. Um, this week on Monday, uh, June 4th, which is the official first day of the class, um, I'm actually leaving and headed out uh, for a family camping trip in Rocky Mountain National Park. So we'll be camping in the Moran Park area. Um, you guys will get to see what that is uh, and, and, and get to know it a little bit. Um, there's two big things in this um, little video today that I just wanted to kind of make sure to explain. One is, as you start going through the materials, you might notice or start feeling like there's things that are like, but this isn't geology, right? Um, one of the things I think a lot of people miss is that geology is a topic that underlies a lot of what else happens on this planet. Um, so when we talk about the history of the area, because I think the history out there is incredibly fascinating, what people did, how people tried to make a living, what that landscape was even like, all goes back to geology. Um, weather patterns goes back to geology. Um, wildlife and ecology and those sorts of patterns, it goes back to geology. And so geology is this kind of foundation that all of these other topics are laid on. And so as you're going through it, if you're like, I don't, I don't see, I mean, that's, that's not rocks. How is this part of this class? That's the purpose, right? Um, is we're seeing where does this extend? What affects, um, what is affected by geology? Um, the other big thing I wanted to share with you this week is why am I excited? Um, you know, why, why do I even care about this class? Why am I excited to go on this trip with my family? Um, and, and I was trying to think about that. It's, it's a beautiful place. Um, but it's got to be more than that. And and I realized as I was kind of planning out um, a couple of runs that I'm, I'm hoping to do while I'm out there, that one of the things I love the most about Rocky Mountain National Park, about Estes Park, um, as many times as I've been there, is there's still this humongous element of the unknown. I was trying to count up. Um, this is somewhere between my 10th and 12th trip. Um, for my kids, it's somewhere between their 5th and 6th, something, you know, something like that. Um, I've been out there a lot. I've spent a lot of time out there. Um, and the things that fascinate me, first of all, I'm, you know, I'm planning two runs, and I've not touched barely any of the trails that I'll see. Um, for as much time as I've spent out there, I've, I've covered literally hundreds of miles out there. I'm still going to have two long runs. I've never, I've never even seen it, right? I've never even touched it. Um, and even places that I have seen, places that I do know, there's all these seasonal and yearly changes. And so places that I've been once, I go back and suddenly there's these huge differences. Like you're fighting through snow or there's not snow or the river level has changed drastically. Um, there's an avalanche the year before that's that's wiped out part of the trail. Um, in 2013 with a flood, it, it destroyed sections of trail. You know, hit places that um, just completely changed. Um, and so... It always feels new. It always feels like you're exploring. It always feels like you're just on the edge of uncomfortable, um, like just on the edge of like nervous. And, you know, there's that kind of like back of your head voice that's like, man, I don't know if I should do this. And that's what I love about that place, because that's not something we get most of the time in our everyday life. Anyway, I will absolutely wish you guys the best of luck. This first week, um, feel free to email and, and try to send me messages. I, I don't know if I'll be able to get them um, until I come back from this trip on Friday. Um, but always try. Um, like I've said before, if scheduling becomes an issue, if you know if there's a week that you just get behind, you have to make it up later, no problem. Communicate that with me. Um, if you know other people are in the class, you've got friends in the class, other people that you'd like to see breathing hard on a hike with you in the class and um, try to keep them accountable, you know, check with them, make sure they're getting stuff turned in um, because it's my goal.
to get to see um, all of you at the end of the July, um, to get to see all of you out on these hikes, and um, for all of you to get to experience this place. Um, and thank you so much for trusting me enough um, to start off on this adventure. So best of luck, and um, we'll see you again as we need more updates.